Witchcraft TD by Unique Old Toast is a fun tower defense game for Pico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I rub my eye. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show two lovely people. Today's game is called Witchcraft TD or Witchcraft Tower Defense and it's by the developer called Unico Toast. We last looked at one of Unico Toast games, Bun's Bunny Survivor, a few weeks ago. Very addictive game, kind of a remake, demake. Very similar game to Vampire Survivors, which is the hot thing right now, apparently. Anyway, this is Witchcraft TD. As you can see, it's very witchy. It's kind of Halloween themed because it's October, so it's the law that you have to do um, Halloween stuff, okay? So let's, <laughs> let's run the game because it's got a very nice title screen. A little bit of a description. Witchcraft Tower Defense. An ancient portal holds mysterious powers. Use the crystal ball to open it and try to hold this power until it destroys a crystal. Use your magic to summon little helpers to stop enemies. Small but hard tower defense with multiple non-standard mechanics. Inspired by Warcraft 3 maps such as Random Farm TD, Boob and Bog and others. Okay, I'm not much of a tower defense expert. I've played a few of them. Quite fun, aren't they? So let's give it a look. Um, this game is available on many, many, many different platforms. I am playing it on Splore, you can download it on Itch, you can play it on Newgrounds, and it's also available on Steam as well. So, anywhere you want to play this game, you can play it. So here we are on the main screen. So this is a game with mouse control. You can control your witch either with the arrow keys or with the mouse. I quite like it with the mouse actually. And we can use the uh, mouse buttons or the X and Z keys to control. You could even use control as well, but I've left mine downstairs. Anyway, here we are on the map. This tells us the controls and things, but I can tell you the controls because I'm here playing it. So we can move our, um, our witch around. We um, can place towers thusly. You see in the top left corner there we have 220 coins and there are 20 hit points for our portal. Now here's the interesting little wrinkle to this game. When we create towers they are created at random which means that we don't have any real control initially over what um, towers we have. We can obviously decide where they're going to go and there's an interesting way that they are upgraded. If you have two of the same tower you can upgrade it to the higher level. Anyway that's all I can place for the um, first level. We've got a flower, a bone, and an egg. Don't worry, the towers do get more interesting a bit further in. So, as you may have suspected from one of Unico Toast games, we've got lots of carrot-based enemies in this game. Um, very cute, very cool. And I like the little um, the little music loop that plays through this. Really cool. The map just looks really nice. I love this little um, this little. Si Seaside, this little shoreline down here, very cool. So that's um, level one. We've got 170 coins. We don't have any of the same towers yet, so we'll just place one more tower. Oh, that was unlucky. So we've got a fungus now. Skill plus 4% damage to all. So yeah, each tower has its own unique abilities. Um, if you were going to play the game really skillfully, I'm sure you'd want to give that a closer look. Um, or you can just do what I'm doing and just place towers willy nilly and just have fun. So, some waves, not all waves I don't think, but most waves that make us select one of these little, um, what is it, like a power up or something? Um, you can see there's a mixture of um, advantages and drawbacks, so we have to carefully pick the right one, or just pick any. Um, let's have a quick look. So, 50% HP for this wave, 100% coins, that might be an option. I imagine the HP is fairly low to start with, might be risky though. Turnips destroy a random level 1 tower. Don't want to do that because all my towers are level 1. 100% chance to make water this wave. I think there's like elemental damage and stuff in this um, game. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I'm sure you can. Oh, more HP, but more coins. Let's go risk it. Let's go for the sushi rolls. I may live to regret this. Maybe, maybe not. We can place towers as the game is progressing, so let's do that. Ooh, we've got two eggs. Fantastic. I can do an upgrade soon. I hope. Now, you see, that that paid off, didn't it? Look, we've got three eggs. 
Now, we haven't had it yet, but we will get a, another character appearing up here, which would invite us to sell towers. As you can see, we normally sell towers for 80 coins. They cost 100 to play, so that's not great. Sometimes we get bonuses off for selling. None yet, though, which is a shame. Anyway, we can upgrade now. So, we uh, pick a tower that we want to upgrade, and it will go to level 2. So, we've upgraded, uh, upgraded our egg into a chick. Do you see the theme in here? Do you see how it works? Uh, what does that do? Three times attack. It does a little bit more damage as well. The damage does kind of go up kind of exponentially. So, um, yeah, you need to, um, you really do need to upgrade your towers if you're going to try and get further into the game. What shall we have this time? That sushi rolls went really well last time. I'm feeling confident, possibly overconfident. Let's try that. Look at these sushi rolls, look at them. Nice animation on the characters as well. Just a kind of kind of squashy, kind of bobby animation. I'm not sure what you call that. Simple but effective. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Ooh, we got two eggs. Aha, here we go. So here is our um, shop. You can sell these for increased price. So um, I'm not sure what those little blue ones are. Let's see if we can get one. No, sadly not. Um, anyway, if we, um, I think the shop will stay there until we've, oh, we'll stay there for a while anyway. So hopefully we'll be able to get that. The um, caterpillar, that'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's upgrade our egg into a chick and we can upgrade our two chicks into a chicken. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. Um, I'll, I'll do this fungus as well. From a fungus, we get a flask. I think that's the kind of the potion branch of the, um, of the tech tree. Uh, let's, um, Give it another look. Oh, what have we got this time? So you can see each level we have these kind of roguelike elements where we have to pick a kind of an upgrade or a what do you call it? Like a modifier for the for this wave. Words fail me. Anyway, milk, hundred percent chance to make bones this wave. So one of the bones is one of the towers that we can get. So if we had a um option to sell bones, that would obviously be really good. And it also helps you kind of get upgrades a bit quicker I suppose. There's a lot of depth to this um, this little selection screen here. I like it a lot. I like the little graphics as well. Cherries. Plus 10 strawberries this wave and you get plus one coin for each kill. That sounds okay. Don't want to mess around with the watermelon things. I'm not sure if that will um, affect my tower ability. I'm not sure what elemental damage I'm doing. Destroy a random level one tower. That sounds bad. Uh, let's go with cherries. So we have more things to kill, but we get more coins. That sounds good. Only got four towers now, but they're hopefully doing quite a bit of damage. Let's start placing towers, I think. Oh, we've got another egg. Just getting all the eggs, aren't I? Oh. Sadly, no. Oh, we can sell that. So there we go. We've got a bone over here. Um, we can sell that for 120, so we're getting a little bit of extra money back there. Let's do that. Because then maybe I can um, get something else that I can sell. Hey, hey! So we're going to get a little bit more money. This is good. A potion. Should I sell that for... That's a lot of extra money, isn't it? Let's do it. I'm sure this is advantageous. I'm sure it's supposed to do this. I'm sure there'll be somebody with a degree in game theory telling me that this is a horrible mistake that I'm making. Oh well. Let's um, let's try these cards. Oh, can upgrade up, guys. Look at this. We're getting out. Oh, we've got our potion back, and we've got some bonus money. Look. What are the new tower we've got there? A rat. Thirty-six damage. Oh, the flower's good. Plus one range to all. Ah, so the flask is our fire attack. Okay, let's um, let's continue. So as you can see, there are 30 waves. I think I've got to about the 20th wave before I got wiped out. So um, plenty of challenge in this game. Each game kind of lasts you, depending on how fast you play, I suppose. My first game took me about half an hour. I think it probably um, take me a lot less to get to the same point. I was taking it very slow. Um, but yeah, nice little short little game, fun little tower defense game. And the fact that it's on Pico 8 and it's available on so many platforms, you can just play this. I mean, you could play this on your phone, you know? That's great. I'd love to play this on my phone when I'm 
supposed to be doing something more constructive. Anyway, what have we got now? I could sell bats. Oh, I could sell a chick. That's a good bonus, that. Let's sell that. See you later, Mr. Chick. I can sell that fungus as well. I, look, I do like this selling mechanic. Lots of very nice mechanics in this game. Very well designed game. Beautiful graphics. Nice music. It's just good. This is why we this is why we put videos on. To show good games. <laughs> right, let's put some more towers down. Hopefully I'm able to show you some of the more flashy ones. Oh, let's press the right button though. There we go. Oh, we've got a fungus back. An egg. Water. Oh, there we go. So we needed water the other time, didn't we? Two waters. Let's see what water upgrades into. A jelly. Ooh, can upgrade the flower into a caterpillar. It's all kind of like an elemental theme damage here, isn't it? Anyway, that's all we can do for now. Let's, um, let's do the wave. What should we pick? Burgers! Minus 50 coins, plus one coin for each kill. Now I ran into a trap here, you can run into debt on this, you can have negative coins, so be careful there. I was trying to be clever thinking, oh it's not going to let me go below zero is it? It does. So I'm not going to do that again. 100% chance to make eggs this wave. We do have lots of chicken based towers, maybe I'll be able to upgrade, so let's do that and then hopefully I'll be able to, um, if I'm lucky, I might be able to upgrade my chicken into, what comes after a chicken? <laughs> That's a, that's a question for the philosophers, isn't it? There's the chicken and then the egg, but what comes after the chicken? Another egg? I hope not. Nice, nah, see that went really well. So we could sell our rat, let's do that. Rats! Ah! Um, let's put some eggs down and upgrade them. Oh, look at this, we're gonna get it. Yes, so we've got a chicken. Let's see what it goes up into. It's a crow. Okay. <laughs> right, we've got a crow. It does loads of damage. Fantastic. Now, this is where I'm never very good at tower defense games. Am I upgrading too soon? Should I, like, have more lower level towers and then upgrade later? I don't know. It's something I've never been able to really figure out on these kind of games. Um... Carrots increase market prices by 20%, but minus 50 coins. That doesn't sound great. We might not be able to sell anything, you see. I'd rather. Let's just have some more strawberries and we can um, have an extra coin. Oh, that crow's doing some business there. Look at that. Look at that splash damage. Incredible. Play some towers down, let's upgrade as well. Ooh, we could upgrade the flask into a potion. Fantastic. Looking good. Oh, we can sell the egg. Brilliant. I like how there's a kind of you have to hold the sell button to sell because um, you would not want to sell your super upgraded crow tower by accident, would you? That would suck. Anyway. Let's see what we get now. Hopefully a bone or a flower. No. Oh well. Next wave. What should we have? Broccoli? 100% <laughs> chance to make flowers this wave. That could be helpful. 20% speed plus 100 coins. Ooh, that's, let's, let's be risky. Let's see what happens. All these bananas are fast. One of our towers is slowing down the enemy. I wonder which one that is. Is it the caterpillar maybe? Not sure. That was okay. We got a bonus coins for that as well. Right, let's see what we can do. We can sell an egg. Can't sell a rat, unfortunately. I'm not sure. I don't think I've managed to upgrade a rat yet. I really want to see what the rats upgrade into. I won't sell the rat. Let's see what that turns into. That really sucks. That might be something you get later on when you don't have many or any level 1 towers, but at the moment I don't want to do that. Sushi rolls, that worked last time, didn't it? What's that one do? Oranges. 25% HP shield, the first enemy, and then plus one coin for each kill. That seems fine. Oh, it's so hard to pick these. I'm gonna go with sushi rolls. Again. 
Oh, that may have been a mistake. They seem to be getting through there very fast. Such a fun game, this, as you can see. Like I say, if you want to play this, it's on Splore. It's on Newgrounds. It's on Itch. It's on Steam. I'm going to be a busy boy putting all the links into the description. Go and check them out. I do want to upgrade this rat before the end of the video. Can we have a rat, please? <laughs> I don't want a caterpillar. Now, a caterpillar. Surely that's going to go into a butterfly. Let's see. No, it goes into a frog, of course. Um, can we have a rat? Yes! Let's see what the rat does. The rat turns into a... What should we think? A ferret? A stoat? A bat. It rhymes. Okay, so we've got a bat, a crow. I love the Halloween theming in this. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, we can sell the jelly. Let's sell the jelly. Delicious. Um, let's put some more towers down. I love the upgrade system in this. So cool. So much fun. I think that was worth it, wasn't it? Let's see. Oh, it's a boss. It's a black squiggly thing. Oh, this might be getting through. I tell you what, if this gets through, we'll call it a day there. I do need to finish the video, so I'm kind of hoping it gets through, actually. <laughs> as much as I like playing this game, I do want to keep my videos a sensible length. Oh no, I think we're going to get it, aren't we? Look at that frog, what an absolute legend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to be trapped in this forever, and you're going to be trapped watching me forever. No, sadly not. I'm going to, um, I'm going to finish this game after I finish this video. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witchcraft Tower Defense on Pico 8 by Unico Toast. Rapidly becoming one of my favorite Pico 8 developers. Um, such a fun game. If you like Tower Defense, then give it a look. It's so much fun. Beautiful graphics, beautiful gameplay, really clever gameplay as well. Really good. So many nice things to say about this game. Anyway, check out the links in the description. I'm not going to repeat them all again. There's loads. Check out those links. Um, check out the developer over on Twitter. Um, you might want to give them a follow because um, if the standard for these Pico 8 games from Unico Toast is so high. A lot of pressure on the next one to be just as good as this and Buns Bunny Survivor. So yeah, check out Unico Toast as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.